Obviously, we, we, ha we have to have some kind of an opening. Yeah. Pre-survey. Event. Okay, pre-survey. We also talked about collecting words from the media. Mm -hmm. what, what else are we going to have? Animated video of cell division. You're going to have a lab. With help from school coach Frank Lavoie, the Greater okay. Brunswick teaching staff charts okay. a visual roadmap of student activities, from the introduction of the driving question to the culminating public event. I also do a session on visual design. You're trying to lay out a sequence of activities that fit within the timeline that you've developed for the project. It is very easy for projects to get away from a teacher. So it's very important to have a tight timeline developed and a strong sequence of activities laid out so that you have a clear sense of where the project is going and when it's going to end. Okay, so we still start with the pre-survey. We go to the Pat. Pat's on the 31st. And then we go to the opening event. How are we going to introduce this to the kids? We're going to give them a collection of words? Or, or give them the assignment to start looking for them, perhaps some examples of different words. Of Six to eight words. weeks worth of activities are charted in sequence. Post-test and journal reflection on their changes. Should that precede the presentation or at the end? You know, I think it should precede it so that they can see how they've changed. Okay. If, or if they have changed. Is that okay with you all? Consensus? You need to be flexible because projects uh, do not lend themselves to exact planning always. You're constantly looking at where you are with a project and looking at your due date and trying to reconcile the two. So it's a constant process of mapping it out, looking back at your map to see if it still works, and constantly revisiting that so that you have a clear sense of what the progress is on the project. So let's look again at what, we're, what we've bitten off. And then I wanted to ask some real hard questions about our work so far. Uh, and I've, I've kind of listed them there. Has, is the, has the driving question morphed in any way? Has it served our students well? Have we had to change it and why? Have the students internalized the issue that we, you know, we raised in the very beginning? Have they now taken it as their own and want to find out more about it? Um, what might we do differently the next time we did this project? And what do we need to do to make the final exhibition really a rich experience, not only for our kids who are presenting and preparing it, but for the audience who's going to come and, and, and watch it? 